as we told, torque measures rotational stability only once during the surgery. ISQ measures the actual stability several times, so it's the only way we can do a follow-up. The, the torque doesn't uh, allow uh, you to do a follow-up. The bone density can measure before going to surgery in an objective way in Hounsfield unit in the Glitch classification in the TC or the CDCT. And the single implant rules for immediate cooling is uh, for single torque more than 45, ISQ more than 72, for multiple torque for more than 40, and ISQ more than 70. There's, of course, more uh, important factors to take into consideration the load. Normally, namely the complexity of the case, as I showed, and the medical status of the patient. And advanced oral uh, and implantology techniques have specific indication and high success.